book is Animal Dads by Sneed B. Collard III. Dads do many things. They build his homes to live. A sickleback dad builds a nest out of pieces of plants. A family sickleback lays her eggs in this nest. The male fertilizes them, and then afterwards the male drives the female away. But his job isn't over yet. Dads continue to guard the nest from enemies. He protects the babies after they hatch. Dads keep us warm and snug. An emperor penguin's female lays her single egg and then she leaves the dad in charge and walks to the sea in search of food. For nine weeks, dads hold the egg on his feet, keeping them warm under a special feather-lined pouch. After the egg hatches, mom returns and then she and dad take turns feeding and caring for their young downy youngster. They, dads even bathe us. Prairie vole dads share all the duties of raising their kids. They help dig underground nests and tunnels for their babies to live in. They cuddle with their young and keep them warm. And when a baby gets dirty, dad makes sure it gets a good bath. And they just tidy us up. Gorillas live in close family groups. The dad's main job is to protect the family's territory. But that's not all he does. Sometimes he plays with the youngsters and removes biting insects and dirt from their fur. This is called grooming. Dads watch out for strangers. The poison arrow frog makes an excellent parent. Some types of female poison arrow frogs lay their eggs under a stone or a moist hole, and dads guard these eggs and chase away enemies, including other frogs. After the tadpoles hatch, they wriggle onto daddy's back, and dad carries the tadpoles to a small stream or a pond where they get to grow into adult frogs. Dads shelter us from harm. Like the sickleback dads, some cicada fish are active fathers. They build nests, guard eggs, and even find food for their babies to eat. If danger comes along, some cichlid dads protect their young in an amazing way. Dad opens his mouth, and the babies, they swim inside. The babies stay inside his mouth until the danger has passed. Dads feed us. The beavers are famous for cutting down trees to build dams and lodges. Beaver dads also cut down trees for another reason. When the beaver babies stop drinking the mother's milk, dad chops down trees so the babies can eat meals of fresh, tender bark. And dads help us find our voice. Most birds are born knowing how to sing, but not all. Young male western meadowlarks learn their songs by listening to their dads and other adult males. Young meadowlarks don't always listen to the right songs, and some meadowlarks have learned songs of red-winged blackbirds, common yellow throats, and even the cardinal. Sometimes dads even play. Dwarf mongoose dads are good-time dads. Like the gorillas, dwarf mongooses live in close families that have aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, and of course parents. Mom rarely plays with the youngsters, but dad, dad enjoys it a lot, and he does playful romps in the dirt. Dad also catches most of the food for his youngsters, and even teaches them how to hunt for their own food. Other times, dads perform. The killdeer lay their eggs on an open rock or gravel. And if a predator comes too close to the eggs, the killdeer dads turn into an actor. Often he starts shrieking loudly and pretending he has a broken wing. With luck, the pretender will follow dad 
and leave the eggs alone. Dads have their ups. They spawn or reproduce salmon, return to the same river upstream where they were born. The trip can be difficult, and salmon dads and moms often have to leap clear out of the water to get past logs, rocks, and sometimes a salmon dad even wiggles over shallow stretches of gravel to reach the place where he will spawn. Some dads also have their downs. Lion dads might seem like lazy dads, but that's not always true. Lions live in a family group called prides, and in the pride, female lions raise the cubs and do most of the hunting. Father lions guard the females and cubs and defend the pride's territory from other land animals. All of this can be a lot of work, and that's why it's not unusual to see the lion dad <sighs> taking a bit of an afternoon nap. Some dads go away. Many babies, animals, never get to see their parents. After the gopher tortoise dads mate with the gopher tortoise moms, the dads go on their own way. Mom buries the eggs in the shallow nest of the sandy soil, and then she leaves as well, never to see her babies after they hatch. But some dads always say, Wolves live together in packs, and each pack is led by a male and a female wolf who make who mate for life. After a new litter of babies is born, Dad leads the pack on a hunting trip and brings back meat for the pups to eat. Dad also protects the pups, plays with them, and, of course, teaches them how to howl. Oh. Dads work with moms. Like gopher tortoises, most reptile parents leave soon after they have mated and laid their eggs in the knot. But the Nile crocodile is different. Nile crocodile moms and dads watch over their nests and carry their babies to water after they have been born. Dads also work with moms to chase away predators until the babies can look out for themselves. And dads do things for us that we never even know. Megapods don't incubate their eggs by sitting on them. Instead, many megapod dads build large mounds of leaves or soil for mom to lay their eggs in. And as the leaves or the mound give off their heat, which incubates the megapod eggs, mom leaves and she lays eggs, but dad sticks around. He turns the leaves over and moves them around to make sure that the eggs remain at just the right temperature, right up until they hatch. Babysitting dads? You bet. Tamarins and small primates related to the monkeys, gorillas, and people. Tamarins live in groups. Dads often help care for the young, including sharing the babysitting duties. If a curious tamarind youngster wanders away, dad runs after it and brings it back to the family. House cleaning dads? Sure. Desert isopod dads and moms dig and defend burrows where they raise their young. Dads also help with house cleaning. Both the mom and dad carry out soil and reuse and refuse from the burrows. Desert isopods don't live very long. Both parents die soon after their young are born. Dads that give birth? Yep, it's hard to believe it, but... There's one or two that actually do. After mating, a seahorse or a pipefish mother transfers her eggs to the father. And once inside the father's special belly pouch, the eggs hatch. But the young fish don't swim out right away. They feed on the blood vessels that lie in dad's pouch. And when the babies grow big enough to survive on their own, dad gives birth. And the baby babies swim out into the ocean. Dads do many things. Dads are many things. The end.